Or he's crashing out, bro. Have you thought about that? No, you. I know you know that already. You just don't care about that part of the equation. You just want to be Islamophobic and somehow make this into a into an Islam issue. These people are always say Snigo's a fake Muslim, but I think he's not a fake Muslim. That's why you should watch this full video. Let's watch it. Fousey goes off on Sneeko. What did he say? Yeah, give us more, please. Yeah. Sneeko even texted me more energy tomorrow. Yeah. But then they twisted it on me and made it... I'm not going to lie, Fousey. I'm never going to text you privately like again. You've leaked so many private conversations. Like every single thing it seems like you're hyperanalyzing. I'm going to communicate through your manager or publicly, but I, don't, I have zero trust for you uh, at this point. It's going to take a lot of... Something's got to change for me to ever be like, hey, let's chop it up and hang out or like text privately. Can't do it. Seem like I was the bad guy, bet, bet. Don't ever use me for cloud again. Don't ever use me for content again. Don't ever call me ever again and say, hey, come with us just so we can use you for content and then kick you to the curb. When we're yeah, dead. and again, he, he'll play this card, I, I think, Pass, because like, he, I think he reads the community and is playing it to this stuff, use me for content. Chat, do you remember when I was in Morocco and I flew to New York, I think in July, to do his stream for three days and I didn't stream it once? Fuzi's never done my stream. He literally, he uses me for like, and it's fine because we're benefiting, blah, blah, blah. It's, it's entertainment. I've never streamed with Fousey once. I've never put him on stream, ever. I flew from Morocco when I was doing an IRL trip to New York because he got out of the psych ward. He's saying, hey man, I'm doing the show. I'm like, yeah, I'll help you out, bro. You're my brother, I'll do it. Three days, I had a flight. I ditched the whole tour and then you know what I did? I went back on the IRL tour that I was on. I literally took a whole detour and came back to America, land of Shaytan, the place I didn't want to go to to do Fousey stream. You remember that? Like two months ago, three months ago? And I, I'm not, I, I don't like playing this card like, oh, I did this, you did that, you did that. Bro, he's going around like acting like the victim, but it's saying my dick in an aggressive way. It's weird. When it's it, the line of like content, friendship, trust it, of it's blurred and weird. I don't want to be a part of it. I don't want to be a part of it. See, some people in Lusty, they want me to go crash out, go back and forth, Fuck you, my dick, blah, 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 expose stuff, leak text. That's it, bro. That's it. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't have any trust. Look at Kevin in the back. D is he crashing out on this guy because he looks like a, a mini me? Is that why he's like, he's been yelling at this dude here? <laughs> Cause he looks like a, a Sneeko doppelganger. Yeah, this is, this is just like, I, if, if your whole content is just dissing and drama, then th I don't think it's good content personally. Like, yeah, it's high energy, but this is just like, it's not sustainable. And it's too bad because right now somebody says this to you, like you should never be, to you guys, like you should never be friends with somebody who says this to you publicly, saying F you, like, but I don't want to. Cause like, I know that, that, that I know there's Yusuf and Fuzi, and I know that there's a good person in there, but this is not the way, it, it's just disappointing. It's just disappointing. How lit are our car streams? Pretty freaking lit. You want me to show you how other car streamers are? How? I'm not gonna say any names. Okay. If you have a thought in your mind, I'm not gonna say any names, ready? There are only two genders. The funny thing is too, like he's making fun of me saying I'm stoic when I'm in the car with him because he gets naked in the, he literally gets naked in the car. He'll play Barbie music and strip down naked and try to make me uncomfortable. And so one time, like when we were in Toronto, he's like in a stream and he's like turning up and like, I'll, I turned up with him too. Just like, you know, because people are like, Sneeko, you're being a lame or you're being lame. Fine, I'll turn up a bit. Immediately, he next day he called me gay for doing that. So it's like, you, you don't win. It's, it's a lose-lose situation with this guy. Trump 2024, Kamala, white supremacy, free Palestine. I'm a Muslim during the day. During the day? What do you do at night? What? I got two more 30 million. People are saying ironic because he's like uh, the most public Muslim since the beginning. Blew up making Islamic content and then I'll... Half of his content is, is drinking. Like yesterday on the stream when you, when you had the pictures up there, he strategically put a fake bottle of alcohol. Do you guys ever, like forget that he pretended to be, to go like to have, he had a fake cop knock on the door, first off. Then he pretended to have a wellness check. Then he pretended to be lost and kidnapped or something for clout. That was two days ago. He tweeted, management doesn't know where Fousey is. Where is, he's losing his mind. And it was promo for a stream. Two days, do you guys forget about that? Or do people just not even care about little stuff like that anymore? Ha, sweet. The other stream, he has a, the bottle of alcohol to make it seem like he's losing his mind. And then he's calling me a fake Muslim. Yeah, Fousey. Ha, sweet. I'm done. I'm done. That's it. Don't say my name on stream anymore. I'm, don't try to be my friend. Don't try to do any of this stuff. Don't try to like victimize yourself. Like, cause there's no, it's, it's useless. It's childish. I'm not doing it. I think that's, I think that's the best thing. I think that's the best course of action here. What do you guys think? 
El Breco. I don't. I mean, I don't. I don't know what else to do. You're saying I'm old and boring, Unc. I, if you think it's like boring that I don't want to go back and forth with this and be like one up each other, who's the better Muslim? Say F you, S my dick. You're a fake friend. You're fake. This fine. I'll say this. When I'm his age, I don't want to be doing this. When I'm his age, I don't want to be wearing like mesh shirts in the car and like. Yeah, I want to have a family at that age. I want to have more properties. I've about to close the third, fourth one. Like I want to be building something. I don't want to be in it like relying upon this forever. This is Pat, wait. this is fun. Thank you, love, uh, love for the sub, love Justin. And I don't recommend you guys be doing this too. Like at, at, at a certain, in my opinion, at a certain age, this is just cringe. This is corny. What are you doing? Why are you turning your back on him? He's always been supportive of you, bro. Are, are, did you not just did you not just hear what he said? Did you not just hear this? And th this puts me in a bad spot because now I have to say stuff like. All right, when Fousey was depressed after he got out of the psych ward, I was showing up and hanging out with him off stream. I was trying to motivate him and get him to the gym, saying stuff like I was calling him, checking up on him, talking to his manager, all that stuff. I don't like to hold that and like to show that I'm a better friend. When you go public and be like, you're using me for content, f you. That's, That's what you have to do. Chad, did you ever have relationships with a, with, a, with a girl and like, oh, you're double texting and triple texting and trying to figure it out and maybe he's doing this and maybe he's, maybe he's, we're grown men, bro. We're grown. I'm pushing 30, Fousey. You are literally pushing 40, literally. This is embarrassing. This reflects badly upon all of us. It's not good content. And then see oh, what happens yeah, now him. is like, when people like academics are like, oh, he's using it for content and you're playing into it when you know it's not true. Who, how do I win from this? I helped your stream. All right, you know, now I'm gonna do too much what we should get on. I was basing everything off of what the internet was saying, what, what we did, for, everything was for the camera. Everything we did in Sneeko, pre-planned. Mm. All of it, and they loved it, they encouraged it. Give us more, please. Yeah. Sneeko even texted me more energy tomorrow. Yeah. But then they twisted it on me and made it seem like I was a bad guy. Bet, bet, don't ever use me for clout again. Don't ever use me for content again. Bet. Don't ever okay. call me ever again and say, hey, come with us, just so we can use you for content and then kick you to the curb when we're done, when two mid four out of 10 girls come up to her. Yeah, he's manic. He's very clearly, this is identical to what happened last year. He should stop streaming right now. His manager should pull him aside. His family should be like, you should stop streaming right now. Like if they've learned their lesson from last year, I'm not trying to be like better, this is not beef, this is just like genuine about your health because this is identical to last year, you should stop streaming. You should put the camera down and you should relax for like at least two, three weeks. Stop streaming or else you're gonna end up in the same exact situation. And then they're gonna blame me and say I'm a bad friend, blah, you have blood in your hands, you're a fake friend. It's not my responsibility. You're a grown man, put the camera down, chill out. You're losing your mind. You're going manic again. And everybody's, everybody's crashing out. This just posted right when I was like Pass loading up the way. stream. This is what I saw. I think this just happened, so you guys didn't see this yet. Hasanabi calls Sneeko a fake Muslim. Why is the Red Bull community dominated by Muslims? Every time I hear his voice, he's whining, bro. Hassan, why do you, why are you always <laughs> You're always upset. Dude, if you think that there are that many Muslims in general in the United States of America and in the Western world that are following this like red pill sh you are the funniest loser on the planet. Debate him. He's not going to, he won't do it. Like, you know, he won't do it. He'll yap about me for years and years, but he's, he won't do it. Yes, dude. I know there's a lot of people who say that they're Muslim and all of them are actually christian by the way who then turn what? around and go oh yeah i'm muslim now because they're conservative you are just simply duped by the likes of sneeko like you you think sneeko is an honest broker you think andrew tate is an honest actor or do you want to use this in an islamophobic way so it now suits your purpose to assume that they're honest brokers here were they conservative before they found the light of allah or do you think that that is just simply an extension for them do you see what his point is He's saying that I'm a fake Muslim and educate we're, we're fake Muslims because Islam transcends politics. And there's no argument against that. Politics is, is surface level, it's worldly, but ultimately you're supposed to find something spiritual, you're supposed to find God. And conservative values come from God. Traditional values, it all comes back to what God told us to do and what's written in the Quran Sunnah. Or if you're Christian, what's written in the Bible, Jewish, you know, Torah. That's what it all goes back to. And you can't refute that. Traditional values don't start with the, it has to be created by something and that's God. And so he's getting upset. He's like, okay, we're only Muslim because it justifies the conservative position, but there is no conservative value without God. I love these liberals who literally 
who who just go from like these guys are charlatans, they're Holocaust deniers, they're insane conservative weirdos. In a moment's notice, they go, no, they're actually very honest. They've actually found the uh, the light of Allah. They're going to go to Jannah. They're real Muslims. The red pill community is dominated by Muslims. They're really angry. Have you have it's 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 and we're going to continue to see it in this retirement era. Back on Twitch, you're going to continue to see people like seethe. Yesterday, the guy that it was the Indian guy who literally wrote a script, who wrote code to go and ban all the subs, to go ban all you guys from being able to chat. XQC crashing out. This guy, bro, he's like, I did not think they were going to get this angry. Did you guys get banned? So f stupid. It's especially <laughs> stupid to come to the chat of a Muslim person and say this. You know what I mean? You're in the community. So he's Muslim. I didn't know that because none of his politics and the stuff that he stands for when it comes to LGBT, when it comes to the transgender issue, when it comes to feminism, when it comes to any of these things aligns with Islam. It doesn't. It actually contradicts very specific rules. I have never heard him say this. And I think it's good. And that's why I think he's so angry at me because he's realizing that Islam and leftist liberal politics conflict. They, they can never coexist. Being a liberal is never gonna work with Islam, ever. But have you noticed ever since the free Palestine thing started to become trendy and stuff, a lot of these leftist liberals are starting to resonate with Islam a lot. That's why there was even that guy that came on a stream and he was complaining because Hassan played a terrorist organization propaganda video. He's playing like a, or like, I don't even wanna make the noise, but he plays like a terrorist propaganda video and he's like, I love the sound. I love the music. And the, it's a journalist over here like, what? Am I being initially initiated to Hezbollah? Hassan's like, I love the drums. A lot of these leftists are starting to uh, find common ground with Muslims, but he's resist he's angry because I come from the conservative red pill space. You're a f ass, dude. See, he doesn't have an argument. Just you're a you're a f he just he's just gonna curse you out. He's just gonna yell at the chat. What's gonna happen now? You, the chat because probably there's more Muslims. I run, it's it's just a weird combination. You're gonna see them. Like, he can't refute them, so he's just gonna yell at them. Watch. They placate Muslims. I don't know why do they. Sneeko is Haitian. Why does he placate to fing Nazis? Aiden Ross is Jewish. Why does he placate the Nazis? I don't know. Maybe because they're morons, dude. Dude. Maybe because they're. Morons! Oh, he's crashing out, bro. Have you thought about that? No, you. I know you know that already. You just don't care about that part of the equation. You just want to be Islamophobic and somehow make this into a into an Islam issue. To be fair, Sneeko push back against the racism now. You're exactly. They're gonna. He's gonna be like, he's a Haitian, but he's a Nazi. Then why do I not align with like any? What do I align with when it comes to Nazi values? What is it? But we like to joke around sometimes, like saying the Aiden, like we, it's just, it's jokes. But I had pushback from the entire like white supremacist Twitter was all, they were all on my for weeks. Rumble, you guys remember that? That was not that long ago. Nonstop, all, I said Haitians don't eat cats and dogs in America. There's no evidence of that. And then everyone said I sold my soul. So you can't, you can't, nobody's gonna, like right now it's funny from every side, they're angry. Guys like XQC, they're mad on Twitch. Hassan's calling me a Nazi. The Nazi's saying I'm not Nazi enough. Like nobody, <laughs> they're saying I sold my soul. The other people saying that I'm, oh, I should be damned. Everybody's everyone. mad. Such a moron, dude. You're the biggest moron of the highest order. Calm the F. -slur. You are such a baboon, dude. Straight up. Dumb. What if he's black? Is that TOS if you call that? Monkey baboon? Born baboon monkey. If he's black, is that? Would I, would I get a bad? Monkey brained Call idiot. Call the F. -slur. That's if you what think he needs. pushed back against the racism. No, dude. He said <laughs> Haitians, which he is a part of, okay, because he is half Haitian, are not eating cats and dogs. And his entire psychopathic Nazi fan base said, shut the f up. You are a barbaric uh, cat eater and dog eater. Okay, so what are you mad about? <laughs> How do you can't please any of these? What are you mad about? Why is he? He's, he's very passionate. He's very like, there's a lot there. These people want me. They're going to try to post everything on live stream fails. They're going to try to get me banned, blah, 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 reported, all this stuff. I won't do that. I don't like echo chambers. It's good to have back and forth, but bear with me in this retirement era because it's going to, if how many more signs we need to see, people are going to be really upset that love speech is back. I've, I don't think I've ever seen him this angry before. Besides when he slammed the keyboard because Destiny said uh, you're a, something about the N-word. It's funny too, seeing this guy call me a hypocrite. Dominated by Mo Or call me a grifter. Like, bro, his existence is grifting. You're wearing shirts that say, eat the rich. You talk about socialism in a multi-million dollar mansion. 
it, and there's no, there's no way. It's the silliest grift of all time. You're saying, you, you said that people that go to rich schools deserve to be essayed while sitting in a mansion that the Ivy League students go back home to. How are you a socialist in a multi-million dollar mansion? You got, a, you got expensive cars, you eat all day, and then you, you grift being poor. I think you're the only person on the internet who grifts broke. Invite him to the Majin with you. Here's the thing. These people I've reached out to and I've tried to make amends. I've actually, I've tried to make amends with them. So you're saying bring Hassan to the Majin. He, he literally wouldn't be able to do it. There would be like a gin. He would, he would need to have Rukia. He wouldn't be able to do it. It's just, and then even, okay. I, I don't want to, I'm okay. We're going to cover the, all the drama and then move on, bro. God, this is so evident of so evident of the major influencers with major profiles sympathizing to Islam. Yeah. That's one thing sympathizing to Islam, but sitting taking a photo of the Quran, damn, how much you get paid for that? Same as Sneeko, same as all you wankers. Yeah. <laughs> how much money? All you wankers, f for your Quran. Do you see what I'm saying? It gets people so angry. I did not know that before I came Muslim, how Pass, angry wait. people would get from the Quran. If you're Muslim and you knew that happened, if you're Christian, you knew that that happened. But without being religious, I did not think people would get so viscerally angry and triggered by it. I don't, because I don't see them get angry about anything else. Do you notice a pattern? He's like, off your wank out with your Dan Bilzerian is just seen reading a Quran and he, he loses his mind. But when Dan is like for 10 years, doing content with girls and doing big parties. And it is degenerate, you know, I'm not saying I'm better than that, but that, that's, what it, that's the best way to describe it. He's doing Playboy parties. The, the party boy of Instagram, right? Alcohol, drugs, party, like, nobody cares. Nobody bats an eye, nobody says a thing. Dan reads the Quran, they lose their minds. Hats, wait. Thank you for Qatar, or Dubai, or Saudi, funded you while she throw the accusations of oh you're getting paid for that don't see me f***ing up a talmud do you you mug you know what i mean you mug Pass, okay. okay if you held the talmud i wouldn't be i wouldn't crash out like this first off tommy second off we've seen you next to idf soldiers we've seen you with your Mossad handlers we've seen you with your israeli Pass, sponsors wait. and all, so let's let's do the debate you're gonna have a debate coming up but that's got, to, that's got to be the only reason why he keeps insisting that I'm paid by Saudi and Iran. Tommy Robinson insists that I'm getting money from Iran, from Saudi, from, from I don't know, he says Hezbollah, from, it's not, there's nothing TOS about what I said. There's nothing TOS about that. But the reason he gets so angry is because he's, he's Mossad funded. Sitting with the Quran, the book, the hate shot, like, like some f***ing scholar, you f***ing sausage. You absolute div. Uh, what are these British insults? Like, I've, he's Pass, wait. He's saying words I did, I did, like Harry Potter slurs. Just getting paid. No, so bad. It's like all these little TikTokers now. All influencers now are being influenced with money. You waffle. Iranian, <laughs> Saudi, Qatari. Because they used to know. He's just saying countries. He's just saying countries. I've never been to Qatar. I know like two Iranians. Like, where is he getting this? Pass, the public and you know what's funny? If they offered me money, if Saudi said, hey, you're promoting Islam, you're doing a good job, I don't want to like, be bro. a shill for the government. But if they said, take some money to promote Islam, I think I would take it. Because you just lose. You just lose from this. You get banned from platforms. You get so many enemies. You trigger people. You put yourself, at, you, you're limited with content. You can't do gambling. Where you only lose money talking about this. If they offered and said, hey, great job. Here's some oil money for your work. I'm taking oh, it. Versions it, and dower. They used to pay for people to go on the street. They used to pay for shops and city stalls, et cetera, et cetera, with free charities. They don't. Now, it's all on here. It's all on these, yeah? So what do yeah. they do? They pay dickheads like Dan. Except Dan, who's Armenian, so his whole family were massacred in genocide by Islamic supremacists. Is now holding up the book of the Islamic supremacists. <laughs> you mug. They probably quoted that you book. You mug. You waffle. You muffin. Whilst nailing your family to crosses in the genocide in in, in, uh, in Armenia. Fool. Okay, let me read this in the Haram police voice. By the way, brother Sneeko, 
It's not even about Twitch or Kick. The real choice is between the world Sheikh Uthman is in compared to the world Aiden Ross is in. Can't you feel yourself being sucked into the drama, the dunya? Wallahi, Sneeko! With the likes of Fuzi and Selena, Devil takes no days off. Brother Sneeko! Brother Sneeko! <laughs> <laughs> What true, the music, true, bro? true. Like, okay. It's, it's, it's a weird position because if I don't go full on live in a library in a basement, or if I don't go full on scholar sheikh mode, there's always going to be people who you're fake, you're fake Muslim, you're fake Muslim. If I like, if I make content, then there's going to be, it's just, there, there has to be some balance. Devil's working overtime. Yeah, okay. He, real talk, bro. I'm not going to, I'm not going to go, I'm not going to be a sheikh. Cooked, true. Then why are you why are you watching this stream? If I'm getting sucked in, if the if Shaytan is taking my soul, why are you not in a basement? Why are you not in Sheikh Usman's basement right now? Tell me the give me an answer. Why are you not in Mecca, Aki? Aki. Why are you on Twitch? This is the Dunya. Aki. You're pointing out the uh, hypocrisy. Okay, so that's your Aki, what's your ETA? Dude. <laughs> I want Islamic content. Okay, all right. I'm also, okay. bro. This is very clear. Sneaker is not a fake Muslim in front of my eyes because I'm watching his every stream. He does some bad thing, but he's doing well. He tried to promote Islam with best way. And I think he won't quit his stream because, you know, this is... Uh, this is his career and he can promote Islam through this way. May Allah make him strong, give him Islamic knowledge. May Allah guide Fuzi, Hassan, Hassan Nabi and all of those people. And also add in Rose, you know, we should pray for them. Because uh, I think Sneeko is doing great.